uh, whenever we have a discussion about the A word to clear up some misconceptions. And uh, what I want to describe is kind of my own philosophy of anarchism and one that I think that, uh, you know, many anarchist activists uh, kind of ascribe to, and that's social anarchism. And social anarchism, you know, far from being about chaos and being about violence and disorder, which it's often associated with the media, is actually the idea that people can and do thrive uh, in free and egalitarian relations. And uh, Donna was talking before about, you know, this idea that, you know, we have this time to kind of reflect on the most pressing issues in our world. And uh, all of us know that we live in a, in a very serious ecological crisis. You know, we're having very hard economic times. Anarchism posits that we don't have to live that way. You know, that any institution based on domination, based on coercion, based on control, are things that we can do without. And that we don't need those in our lives. And it's not limited to uh, things that all of us would probably agree on, like racism and sexism and heterosexism. Uh, but as well, institutions like the state and capitalism, which allows a tiny minority to rule over the majority of us. So we live still fundamentally in a system that's based on rulership and people who are ruled, and we don't have to accept that. And that's part of the message of anarchism. We actually have mechanisms by which that uh, we can organize society without these institutions that are based on coercion, that are based on control. Um, I went not that long ago with a comrade of mine, Dave Rosa, to an uh, anarchist book fair in uh, New York City. And there's this woman who was a member of a second wave feminist group in New York, and she pulls this big string across the room, and it was probably attached to the wall over there. And she pulls it out, probably to about right here, and she says, okay, this string represents the entire history of social organization. She says, now about this much, about two inches on this string actually represents how long institutionalized inequality and domination has existed in our world. We don't need to ask questions about whether it's possible. We know it is. The vast majority of human social relations have been in egalitarian uh, formations. The question is, how can we get to something like that in an industrial society? Is it possible? I don't think that there are clear answers to those questions. Um, I like to approach theory very humbly. Um, but I do come from an anarchist perspective. Anarchism has seen a, an explosion since, uh, since the Battle of Seattle in 1999. A number of anarchist activists in coalition with feminists, with anti-racists, with labor unions and environmentalists actually shut down the WTO. Um, and, you know, as a result, you know, yay, us. <laughs> You know, as a result, we've seen a rise in interest in anarchism, and as I uh, stopped being a dishwasher and started being a scholar, I started putting a book together to uh, kind of highlight the ways that anarchism has engaged with other theoretical perspectives, like feminism, uh, radical queer theories, uh, uh, anti-racism, radical environmentalism, so on and so forth.